and welcome everyone. Mike Elliott here, High Button Sports. Round one, game two, playoff action, U16. Triple A, Kings taking on the Dartmouth Voyagers. As both teams just taking on to the ice. We got some shots here of the uh, starting lineups on both teams. Opong, Casey, Halliday, McDonald, Williams on the blue line here below us. On the other side for the Kings, we got McIntyre, McMillan, Verge, Duncan, and Hollett. Starting goaltenders. We'll get to that right after O Canada. We'll take a short break here. Be back in about 45 seconds. Thank you, Wade. And with that, we're back. Game two, best of three first round series between the Kings and the Voyagers. In goal, as Wade just mentioned, number 31, Reed Gillis, 200 feet across from him. Number 30, Nate Beaton, between the pipes for the Kings. The Provincials next weekend. We will be hosting that here. So the Kings are already in. Dartmouth looking to win tonight as the Kings took the first game of this series. But it was a close one, 6-5 up in West Hans. I'm going to drop the puck here at center. We are on the way, and the puck comes right inside the zone. That's the first shot as Verge, and then the rebound. And just like that, 13 seconds into the game, Joel Verge getting the Kings on the board as right off the opening draw, faceoff came inside the zone quickly. And there's a shot from the corner. Reed got that rebound, came right out front, and Verge made no mistake as people still coming in off the street. And we 13 seconds, second shot on goal, one nothing. Wait for the official score count. I got Verge putting the puck in the net as we're back at center, long dumping attempt. That one goes right on top of Gillis and he's gonna make no uh, chances on that one there. Hold it up and we'll get a whistle deep in the zone. It is Verge with the goal. Hollett and McIntyre, both uh, the other forwards getting uh, assist markers on that. As the puck's still deep in the zone, Hollett looking for it. Gets picked off. Now Casey trying to bring the puck up ice. Or sorry, that's Emberly to get it over to McKeegan, who gets it back to Emberly. He takes a shot from the short side, beaten with the save, puck in behind the net. Having a look picked up now by Verge. Verge looking up for McIntyre. McIntyre has to go off his stick. Turn back the other way. He's looking for a change. They're dumping in deep. Picked up by Duncan behind the net. He rims it around the far side for Stapleton. It just came on the ice. Stapleton's going cross like That's behind Probert. Maybe a chance here for Barrett. He chips it in deep. McMillan gives chase. Goes behind the net to Duncan. Duncan having a look along the wall. Trying to chip it up ahead. Was Stapleton and gets turned back the other way. Now Duncan going to bring the puck up ice. Sees Munden. Munden's over the blue line. He breaks wide. 
Looks back out for a backhand pass. Nobody home. Picked off by Mitchell. And then Stapleton's able to retrieve it. Stapleton leaves it for Blackwood. Blackwood looks towards that. There's a CNI shot blocked in front. Poked around in the corner by Jewer. Mitchell along the wall now chips it ahead. Icing's waved off. Linesman was adamant on that right from center. Picked up in their own zone by Graves. Graves had Barron along him along the boards. King's trying to clear. Picked up by Munden. Maybe a chance here, two on one. Munden up over the line. Munden, and a good defensive play there by Jewer to poke that away. Graves keeps it at the blue line though. Blackwood gets stick checked. Picked up now by Mitchell. Mitchell dancing his way up through center. Looking for a change, he dumps that in deep, lands on Graves' stick. He goes over to Blackwood. Blackwood looks up ice, goes to the open boards. Icing waved off. So that's end to end, icing's waved off both sides. That's puck kept in on the boards. Second attempt is not cleared. Murphy along the wall now. He's got Opong on him. Puck comes to the corner. Murphy and Clemens able to get it to Shoop, who's trying to get it out. Kept in by Elliott. He's along the boards now with it. Trying to get in deep, get some help from Orchard. Murphy gives chase, but it's picked up behind the net by Cluett. He starts the rush, chips it up ahead. Another icing waved off, puck in deep. Get to it first is the V's, and behind that, White's able to get a stick on that. Shoot from the corner, puts it back down deep. Now Jay for the Kings, off the boards, looking for Orchard. Orchard gets stick checked by Clemens. Jay picks it back up. Puts the brakes on down low, looking up ice, trying to flick it up ahead, can't clear, second attempt. Shifts it just ahead, now he picks it up. Jay trying to bring the puck himself. Jay gets taken down, and the puck somehow is underneath him, slides in all the way on top of the goaltender, and Gillis is gonna jump on that, cover up, make the save, get a whistle. Early first period here, 319 gone. King scoring a quick one, 13 seconds in by Verge. He's back on the ice now. They get lined up on the draw. Verge and McDonald. Dartmouth in behind his own net. Opong trying to bring it out front. He takes a bump. McIntyre retrieves that, tries to go out front, can't make it happen. Opus back in deep from the blue line. Hull it from the corner. He got a V on him. He's able to chip it back down low. Verge. Gets picked off by McDonald. He puts it to the far corner. Opong picks it up. Starts a breakout. Avoids a check. Gets the center. Opus trying to put it right back in deep. King's making a change. Chance to skate the puck up the ice here for Williams. He goes cross ice. Picked up. There's going to be offside. And there's the whistle. As Stapleton had jumped off the bench with some speed. Didn't realize the Kings player was still stuck over here on the side by the V's bench. So offside's the call. 3.59 gone here now in the first period. Remind you, game two for these guys. Kings win the first one, 6-5 in a tight affair. This pass out front and oh, one time chance for Probert. Can't quite finish. Probert trying to come out of the corner. Law able to retrieve that. Probert's still on him. Law avoids that check, keeps the puck, goes back to the corner, but gives it away. Stephen, he rips a shot. And I think Gillis might have got a piece of that and it's deflected up high. Sullivan along the boards now, puts it down low for Probert. Probert trying to come back out front, can't quite get the pass out. Spinning away from a check to Goche. He tries to start to break up. McMillan's able to keep that in. Brooks behind his own net. He tried to pass, didn't get much on it, but Emily comes back to pick that up, and he's able to get the puck up to McKeegan. McKeegan skates up ice, trying to get by McMillan, trying to go short side, and the puck went on the outside of the net. He retrieves it in the corner though. Still battling hard. McKeegan behind the net and still with the puck. Good puck control there by McKeegan. He gets it back to Jewer. He goes over to his partner. Shot towards the net, just misses a little bit wide. Prober trying to clear. And it, no, he kept a good job there by Jewer to keep that puck in. Now the Kings have the chance. Blackwood, he skates the puck up ice. Loses the handle up over the blue line. He retrieves it back. Gonna go to the backhand. Can't quite release the trigger. Law from his own zone, zone, throws up towards center. Picked up by Graves in his own zone. Graves off the boards for Munden. Has it in his skate, trying to free it up. Chipped ahead, chipped in. Law loses the handle. Murphy 
Puts the brakes on, looking for some help, goes back to the blue line. White looks towards that, he throws a shot to tie. And that's gonna be waved off. High six gonna be the call. As Elliott thought he had one on the rebound, but we can see it up here from the booth. And the stick was well over the shoulders when he made contact with the puck. Puck came down. So that'll bring that face off outside. 5.43 gone first period. Kings dump it right back in. Gill is out to play it. Leaves it for his defender. Chips along the board. Shoop can't get it out. White trying to keep it in. They bang away at it. And this time does come up over the line. But it's picked up by Munden. Munden trying to dangle his way through. Pokes one ahead. Can find it in the corner. Munden back to the blue line. Graves can't hold it. Graves got to retrieve back. As Shoop gives chase. Graves goes behind the net. A little bit too hot for the other defender. Kept in at the blue line. Coming in with a shot. And there's Beaton with his first real test. Makes the save. Cover up. Face off will stay deep in the king zone. 13-39 remaining first period. 1-0 hockey game. You got Beach. On the draw with Verge. Excuse me, with Verge. He's able to win that draw, get it to Jay. Jay trying for that long stretch pass. Another icing uh, waved off as they're all over these icings here. Chance here for McIntyre trying to pass over. His pass is intercepted. Clemens back the other way. He gains the blue line, makes a move. Chip pass over front to Casey. The shot's on net. Rebound still loose as Jay's trying to get it. He gets pushed back in deep. Clemens now behind the net. Puts the brakes on. Fakes the other way. Trying to do a little wraparound. Can't bring the puck with him. As they try to find it. Beaton does. And he freezes it along the post. Another face off down low. We've got to give a shout out here to the um, some U15s here taking in the U16 game. The, the Rangers are in the house. And they get a shot of the U15 Rangers. Maybe some of them will be here next year. I'm sure they will be. And there's a chance right off the draw. Didn't miss by much. Faith comes all the way to the point. Williams able to keep that in. Chips up high off the boards. That one goes out. We get a puck race for it. Sullivan. Opong trying to race her way down the length of the ice. Opong gets there first. And he's going to come back the other way. Moves up to McDonald. A little bit too far for him. McMillan out of his own zone. Hard off the boards. This time the referee's arm is up. And this time will be icing. 12.41 to go first period. Icing face off, bring it back to the Kings zone. These two teams played last weekend. The Kings coming up in top by one with the V's coming real close towards the end of that game to tie it up. These want to take this one here tonight to force a game three that would be here tomorrow. As the V's able to keep that puck in at the blue line. Duncan has to retrieve it just below the circle. Flicks one up high. And that's going to be a little bit too high. Just makes contact with the roof. We'll keep the face off inside. Good crowd here for an early start here. Six o'clock at the arena. Not the normal time for Kings home games. But a great crowd on both sides. Obviously with two HRM teams. Everybody can make the trip. But lots of other fans. Some young fans that were on the ice a little bit before the uh, these two came on or hung around. McMillan loses the puck behind the net but he's able to retrieve it looking to try to clear it up along the boards Williams holds the line bounces around picked up by Goche Goche short side rips the shot there's a save goes to the corner Sell er, McMillan again tries to chip it ahead this time Munden's able to clear it Munden up over the blue line Munden doesn't get a pass or a shot and a good defensive play there bouncing puck picked up by Opong Opong's over center now gains the blue line didn't get too far as the Kings are there chipping ahead. Now we get a race the other way. Looking forward as Goche has Munden on him. Looking for Law. There's Law and Munden round into each other behind the net. Two big, strong players stood each other up on that one, though. And here comes the breakout. McKeegan trying to get a step on Graves. Graves looking for it down. McKeegan with a nice move. Able to pick it up now behind the net. Trying to go front. It can't quite connect. And just off the bench is McIntyre. Looking for some help. There's Stapleton. Trying to avoid a check. He gets pinched off along the boards. Brooks picks it up for 
the V, so a little spin move. Backhand sauce pass over here to Mitchell. Mitchell's over the blue line, but the, yeah, listen to it. You can hear, uh, but they're right close to the ice. You can hear the players, well, repeat that with not, uh, not PG, but offside is the call. We'll just say the V player was not happy with it. Mitchell and Verge on the draw now. In the feet, trying to find it. Mitchell's able to, moves it over to Tobin. And the puck came in on to Beaton when he's able to play it. We're on the wall now, chipped up. Two on one shaping up here. Verge, Verge gonna like to keep and shoot. A nice play by Brooks to get a stick on that to deflect it up out of the glass. And now the other one picked off by Hullett, who's in the corner. He's trying to get by Brooks. Hullett, back to the blue line. Blackwood having a look, sees Graves. Graves walking in, throws a shot. That misses everything, but hit a body in front. Maybe a chance here for Brooks as he's got some speed. Graves able to get back first. Goes over to Blackwood. Touch pass by Verge up to Hullett. Trying to go back over to McIntyre. You gotta be careful here. That's gonna be close to too many. Can't argue with the V's side on that one. That had to be close as we we're trying to do a quick count of the white jerseys. Either way, play continues. Kept it at the blue line. Jay with a shot and just getting a blocker on that was Gillis. Probert along the wall now. Down deep in the corner. Puts it behind the net. Gives chase, gets taken down. And in behind the play, there is going to be the first call of this hockey game. Tripping is going to be the call. It's going to go against Ethan Jewer. So he's going to sit in the box for two or less, almost at the halfway mark here, first period. Shots on goal, they got it up there, 6-6. Six, six. Kings scoring first, one nothing early. Only 13 seconds to start the game. Now let's see what they do on the power play. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Kings. But Dartmouth's able to grab that face off, send that the length of the ice. Casey with a little four check here as Jay behind his net looking to anchor the power play. Gonna go for a skate. Trying to hit Stapleton, that was a too far for him. And not a good start to the power play for the Kings as they can't connect with the pass. And that icing faceoff will bring it back to the Kings zone. 17 seconds, click off on the penalty. As McDonald and Verge will line up for the draw. And they don't like the linesmen, don't like how the Kings are lined up. So Verge gets a toss. Murphy comes in. Face off controlled by the V's, but a little bit too strong. Gonna come all the way back into their zone. Opong's gonna get back there first. Opong's gonna look for some open ice. There's a hard off the boards. And now we get a puck race back the other way as McDonald is flying down the ice and beating plays it and almost gave it right to McDonald. And McDonald was a nice hard work there. Great to see. Good hustle by number 23 of the V's to get down there and almost have a great scoring opportunity. But here's Stapleton now at center. He loses the puck, moves out to McDonald, and McDonald, short side, throws a shot, trying to find a rebound, and Jay just able to clear that as it got behind, beaten. Short-handed opportunities here for the V's. And here they are still trying to go in front. There's McDonald almost getting a redirect, but it's picked up by Munden. Munden starts to pass. Hits Hollett, there's four Kings over the line. Hollett likes to shoot and goes short side, pops the bottle, power play marker. It's two to nothing. Just the way it goes, some crazy opportunity down at one end and the Kings come right back down the other end, striking on the power play. Eight fifty-four to go here in the first period. Kings now lead. Two to nothing. Back at center. Picked up by McIntyre. Ships it in deep. Brooks looking for it. Able to get it over to Law. Law makes a move. Long stretch pass here to Emberley. There's a long shot and beaten flash. A little bit of leather makes a save. We'll get a face off. <laughs> So Munden with the assist marker on Hollett's goal. <laughs> Excuse me. Goche and Verge on the draw. Kings grab it. 
Opus, long stretch pass, looking for Hollett. He just got one moment to go, looking for another one. Hollett trying to dance his way through. It's in the feet, but good play there by the V's defenders. And here comes Law bringing the puck back up the other A. Goes over to Goche. Goche trying to give it back to him, looking for a redirect out front, but can't quite connect. Verge picks it up along the far wall. Goes cross ice there for Duncan, who's joined the rush. Duncan trying to get by Jewer. Face off, or going to say the face off. Face off, this has got to come outside the zone because offside is going to be the call as the puck was bouncing around just below us at the blue line. Now we get some chirping between these two teams. A little bit of bad blood still brewing from last game. 8-10 remaining first period, 2-0 Kings. <laughs> Faceoff comes into the Voyager zone. Cluett rims it around, fires the blue line, but not out as Hollett, or sorry, Blackwood keeps that in, but it's picked up by Jewer, and Jewer's back the other way. Jewer's over the blue line. He gets pick check from behind. Oh, and there's a shot on that far side, but missing was Tobin. And the puck comes all the way down the other way. No icing. Probert behind the net. He's got two blue jerseys on him. They rim it around. McMillan pinches in, trying to hold the line. Can't quite hold it. Barrett able to pick it up. Maybe a chance for a 2 one Can't get the pass quite over. But a nice play there by Tobin, but takes a big check from Orchard. Captain at the blue line, clue it. Throw the shot towards the net, and shot does get through, and there were some bodies in front of Beaton. Didn't miss by much on that short side. Probert picks it up in the corner. Goes cross ice, but almost uh, hits Blackwood in front. Now we're going to get some uh, penalties behind the play. Slashing is going to be the call, and I believe it's going to go against the Kings. It's like number 27. Jack McMillan, he's going to go serve some time in the penalty box. So the Voyagers will head to the power play, looking to get on the scoreboard to cut this lead in half. As Slashing's a call, McMillan's in the box for two or less, and here's Dartmouth with the puck, controlling on the power play. McKeegan goes cross ice for Opong. Opong has a little look. Likes to go to Goche. Goche with a shot, trying for that deflection in front. McDonald standing right on the doorstep, beaten with the save. Puck's picked up by Graves. He's trying to clear, looking for a little open ice. He's able to get it just over the blue line. Opong going to retrieve it. Goes over far side for Tobin. Tobin going to bring the puck in the zone. He doesn't make it too far as the Kings able to slap that back into the Voyager zone. Opong. Looking to bring the puck up ice. Gonna give it here to Goche with some speed. He rims it around the old horse show down low. Along the boards now, Orchard trying to free it. Elliot with some help and able to send that down the length of the ice. A minute gone here in the power play. Bring the puck up ice now is Goche. That's picked off. Maybe a chance for Orchard. Orchard short hand and in alone. With a shot and just get a toe on that was Gillis. Puck back up center. Dump back in deep by Jay. 35 seconds to go here now in the power play. Opong again bringing the puck up ice. Opong up over the blue line. Loses the handle. And lands on Jay's stick, and he makes no mistake. Sends that down the length of the ice. Gill is out to play. Maybe one last chance for a rush here for the V's as they're going to start behind their own net. Clemens. Up here to Williams. Williams dumps it in deep. Opus trying to get there first for the Kings. He rims it around. Kept in on the far side by Clemens. Clemens at the top of the circle. Looking out front. They bang away. And it just as the penalty expires. Beaten able to make the save cover up. We'll get a face off down low. Five twelve remaining here in the first period. Shots on goal. Actually, the V's lead uh, eight to tw uh, for the Kings, twelve for the V's. V's unable to capitalize on that power play. In on the draw, Kings pick it up. Fresh of the penalty box was McMillan, and the puck comes a little bit too close for Beaton's liking, so he makes a cover on the side of the net. We'll redo that face-off between Beach and Verge. And 
And the Lions don't like how the Kings are lined up again. So Verge is going to get the toss. Hollett will come in this time. Faceoff comes to the corner. Picked up by Blackwood this time. Blackwood having a look on that long pass up through center, but goes off McIntyre's stick, but he retrieves it again. McIntyre going for a little skate now. Drops pass to Verge. Verge cross ice to Hollett. Hollett looks back to McIntyre. Oh, and just getting out there. Nice, good, old school goaltending there by Gillis as he dove over front and broke up that pass attempt as Hollett tried to go back door to McIntyre, but Gillis not fooled. Dove out with the paddle and then covers up. And we'll face off, we'll say. Deep in the V zone, 4.52 to go now here in the first. On the draw, picked up by Holland, trying to go short side, that goes off a player, Virgil on the boards now. Trying to go back down low, he gets turned back the other way. Here comes the Voyagers, Clemens up over center. Just getting up outside the blue line, but then turned back the other way. Picked up here by McIntyre, and there's the linesman. Hollett thought he got back over the blue line, but the linesman says he didn't. Offsides the call, another whistle. As the clock was ticking down a little bit, Wade will recorrect that, no problem at all. <coughs> <coughs> Apologize, got a little tick on my throat here for this game. I guess having a, a week off will do that. Probert on the draw with Mitchell. In the feet. Picked back up by Mitchell. He's up over the blue line. Trying to get it back, short side. There's a little tap in. And there's Barrett making no mistake. Kind of a scramble play coming off the boards, but able to get a nice pass so front. 420 left here in the first period. V's get on the board, and it's two to one. And a reminder of the game one in this series as the Kings got up for a little bit of a lead, but the V showed no quit. As uh, I think the goalie might have a, an equipment issue. So Gillis is gonna have to head to the bench for a second. I see Wallace, Gillis is not sure why. The referee's explaining it to the Dartmouth coach here right now. Trying to listen in here to the to the referee, explaining to the coach what's going on. Good thing we're being right behind the bench. We get the, the insider action. Next whistle, I'm pretty sure we'll see Gillis go right back in. I don't know if it's because he I wasn't watching there. A little bit of changing the score. But either way, Dartmouth's on the board. Don't worry about that. Away for the official score call as Puck goes cross ice the other way. Inside the zone, Probert looking for it. Retrieved by Dartmouth, but dumped right back in deep. Prober has in his feet. Backhands one deep. Cluett and Sullivan give chase. Munden picks that pass attempt off, and it lands on a stick. But a nice active stick by the Dartmouth player to chip that back out to center. White going to go for a little skate now. White looking for some room. Goes back the other side, and then Sullivan trying the stretch. And I think they thought the defender might have dumped that one in deep. But he held on maybe a little bit too long, and the Kings players couldn't quite stretch the legs long enough. There's Gillis heading back into his net, thinking he might have left, went too far, maybe went over the blue line for that goal celebration. But what do I know? I'm up here, they're down there. Either way, Gillis is back in net, playing a fine game for the Vs in the 2-1 hockey game. Long pass out front. Comes right on Gillis. We'll listen for the goal announcer. Thomas Cruz, Thomas Cruz, I'm pretty sure that was assisted by 17 Mitchell for Barrett. They, got it. they gave it to 27 either way. The V's don't care who scored it as long as the team are on the board and it's 2-1, to 3.34 to go here in the first. Kings control the faceoff. McMillan at the blue line. Look towards the net. There's that old pass pad from behind and almost worked. And the net's knocked off as Stapleton Almost got a stick on it. McMillan knows these boards real well. He tried to go right off that back board. They're quite lively here behind the nets at the old burn. And it came right out front. And Stapleton got a stick on it. And I think Gillis might have got a piece of it. Either way, he went wide. And as he pushed off, the net come off. Face off will stay inside. Puck comes to the corner now. Rimmed around, picked up here by Holiday. Halliday backhands went up to the blue line. 
McMillan's able to keep that in momentarily. The second attempt's cleared, and here comes DeVise. Trying to go hit McDonald if he's flying in there back door. Puck along the boards. Back to the blue line. Williams, long wrist here. There's a deflection, and McDonald got a stick on it, but deflected a little bit too high as it went up into the netting and out of play. We're going to have a conversation here. I thought it went off McDonald sticking out. And as always, we get the, up here in the booth, we get the correct calls from the uh, Eagles Nest we have up here. So a face off outside, 302. Remaining first period. On the draw, trying to chip it ahead. Bees blocked that off, dunking in his own zone. Goes over to Opus. Opus up to Hollett. Little sauce pass back to Duncan, he retreats. Looks up ice, trying to get in behind the play with Verge, but he's sent back the other way. Pushing and shoving there behind it between Verge and Williams. He's watching that happen as McIntyre picks the pass up. McIntyre goes blue and rips the shot. And Gillis sees that. Gets the glove out. Makes the easy save. 2.38 to go. First period. Face off will stay deep in the V zone. Verge and Goche on the draw. Comes to the corner, picked up by Brooks. Brooks brings it right out front. Gotta be careful, got a couple players on him and trying to get a shot off and still passes around McIntyre. Didn't even realize that it went off him and hit the post in behind the play. As Brooks dangerously brought the puck up right beside the net and almost cost him. Puck kept in the blue line by Opus, but second attempt by the Vs. able to clear up the center. Bouncy puck almost picked up by Emberly, but at least for Goche. Goche back to Emberly. Emberly trying to get a shot off, but in behind was Verge lifting the stick. Emberly able to keep it in deep. Opus behind his net. Opus starts to break out to Hollett. Hollett looks for Verge, has to go off his stick up the center. He's looking for a change. Beach fresh off the bench. He takes a long wrister that's a blocker save. Gets his own rebound. A short side, another save. And third, three chances for Beach there. But Beaton able to stop all three. Third one covers up, makes the save. 152 to go first period. V's coming that close to tying this hockey game up. On the draw, Probert with Beach. Kings control behind their own net. White tries to go up along the board. He's, does get to Sullivan. Sullivan chips one up over the blue line. Brooks back at his own line. Goes to Law. Law and Brooks playing a little bit of catch as Brooks gets it back. He looks up ice, picked up by Probert. Probert trying a little pass up to Sullivan. And that's going to be offside. If the Kings got a tag back up, but Sullivan's stuck on the wrong side of the blue line again. Passed up through the middle. Picked up by Clemens now, over the blue line. Clemens trying to go back to Beach. Beach looking to go back on Friday. Can't quite connect with Shoup. And the Kings up at center. Trying to go over the line is Probert. Can't get by the blue jerseys. Amber Clemens, sorry, chips it ahead. Beaton plays it. White throws it up through center. Jewer back in his own zone. Last minute to play here, first period. Kings pick it up in their own zone. Up to Sullivan. Sullivan up over to Orchard. Orchard trying to push it ahead. Sullivan now from the short side. Throws a shot. Gills with a save. Along the boards now. Clemens. With some speed. He's up over the blue line. Clemens. And down just below us. Beach was just a step over the blue line. As Clemens made the little long stretch there. Offsides the call, 38.4 to go, first period. Great hockey game here at the arena. Great series so far here, game two of the best of three. Dartmouth trying to force game three tomorrow as the Kings won the first one. Here they are at the draw. Mitchell as he's getting taken down. Throws a shot, misses on the short side. Kept it at the blue line now. As Elliott trying to force it up, he's able to get it up to Munden now. Munden trying to get a step on Jewel. Munden with it, still with it. And the net's going to get knocked off behind the play as Munden's looking for a call. And Jewer is getting a little recognition there, able to stand the big man up. Not allowed to, allowing Munden to get Bullo's way to the front of the net. 21.8 up on the clock now, face off deep in the zone.
Murphy on the draw with Mitchell. Face off, comes to Munden. Munden with a quick shot, they score! Murphy over to Elliott, Elliott to Munden. Munden to the back of the net with 18.8 left on the clock. Kings regain their two goal lead and it's three to one. We'll say just the way the Kings drew it up, I'm sure that's what they'll tell us. We're back at center now. Scramble draw, there's Munden again, just scored momentarily. They can't quite get the handle. Graves steps up. Murphy looking for the center, David get to Murphy again. Can't bring the puck over the line. Back the other way is Mitchell. Little chip ahead. And as the horn goes, that's gonna do it here for us after one. Three to one to score, shots on goal 18 to 14 in favor of the V's. We're gonna take about a 10 to 12 minute break here. That first period, any indication what the second and third is gonna be? We'll see everybody back in about 10 minutes. See everybody for the second.
and we are back. Second period action, just get ready to get in the way. U16 AAA action. Playoffs, round one, game two. Kings win, they move on. Dartmouth trying to force a game three that would come tomorrow. 3-1 after 20 minutes of play. Shots on goal were 18 to 14 in favor of the V's. But they got it down by two. Reminder to keep an eye out for all the high button action going on this weekend between U16, uh, also all the female provincials that were being, being covered. Lots of games all weekend, and we do our best to bring you the best coverage. And here we are here in the second period of this game, and right out the blue lights, Casey, and you're there just offside as the puck was bouncing around. But the lines, men are all over the calls here tonight. They're doing a great job, as well as the referees. Just a quick nine seconds here, we get a whistle. And lots of whistles in that first period as well, but only the two penalties. Kings were able to capitalize on theirs. Dartmouth was not. There's a chip ahead in behind the play. It's Verge trying to kick one up ahead. Can't quite get control of the puck. Now Howell looking for it in the corner. He loses it to Williams. Williams trying to retain it back. Comes to the blue line, and Duncan's able to hold the line, but it goes off of Verge's skate and helps the V to the job. Now Opong up at center. Loses the handle. Duncan tries to chip it ahead. And there's that another whistle and another offside. Charge against the V's. This face off will come just in front of Wade in the timekeeper's box area. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Mike Kelly here with Mike McLaughlin on the camera. High button sports, great game. This one has proven to be so far. We've still got two periods left. That puck comes inside the zone. They race for it. And seems to be the theme of this hockey game. <laughs> There's three whistles within 42 seconds as Icing's gonna bring the puck all the way back to the King zone. So we don't say the cleanest of hockey games so far. Enough whistles. Murphy on the draw with Goche, comes to the half wall, they bang away at it, kept in, and there's a broken stick as Emberly, and there's a, as the play continues though, pass out front, can't quite connect with McKeegan, as Emberly heads to the uh, bench, and we see the broken twig on the ice, so there's an expensive Friday night for Emberly, and that one broke right in half as he tried to rip a shot, gonna throw that on the bench, Goche now gonna line up with Murphy on the draw. In the feet, trying to find it. Kings do, they clear it just up outside the line. Picked up by Brooks, who goes over here to Law. Law gives it back to him, but it can't quite re pick it up. He's gotta go all the way back deep in his own zone. He's behind his own net, and there's Sullivan with some four check. He's able to get it to Murphy. Murphy trying to get by Brooks. They battle hard in the corner, trying to clear the Scrum is Sullivan, he comes up with the puck and makes the pass over front. But nice paddle there by Gillis to get that pass to come through. And here comes the V's the other way. McKeegan up over the blue line trying to get by Blackwood. He gets pushed to the corner. Blackwood and McKeegan rubbing each other out along the boards there. Comes by in behind, here's White now. He throws it hard along the side of the boards, picked up by Stapleton. Stapleton has to retreat back. A little sauce pass up a little, almost a little too gingerly, but it does get picked up by Murphy here. He's up over the blue line now. Murphy up to Blackwood. Blackwood in the long, goes to backhand. Gillis down, makes a huge save. And then a shot from the blue line. That's blocked in front, trying to chip it ahead. Would be gone all alone on a breakaway, but they can't quite get it to him. As Sullivan gets back, Probert off right off the bench. He takes a bump, but keeps going. Probert with a shot towards Gillis. He's able to paddle that to the corner. Picked up by Sullivan. Sullivan. Along the boards with it. Trying to kick it ahead. Leaves it for Elliott now in the corner. Elliott back to the blue line. Jay takes a shot. That's deflected to the corner. Rimmed around. Jay able to keep it in. Lands on a stick now. Cluett looking for it. Jay is able to hold the line again. A little chip ahead. Chip down now. In behind that Probert. Trying to go up front. Now he's on the orchard stick and they score. Orchard all alone in front. Probert making no mistake with the pass. 2.35 gone here, second period. Kings add to their lead. It's four to one. A 
We'll bring the face off back to center. Bouncing puck, looking for it. Trying to find it, in the feet. They're still trying to find it. They're gonna call that a glove pass. As Beach and Jay, not very happy with each other as Jay was standing over top of Beach. Beach gave up and gave him a little shot, showing his appreciation of that. Face off's gonna come to the far dot now in front of the Kings bench. Listen to the goal announcement for Orchard. Jay getting assist on that as well. The puck bounces around here, comes back in the zone. Jay. Jay on the wall. Orchard, Orchard goes up ice. And they're going to call that icing. That puck doesn't touch anything at center. The Kings send it the length of the ice, and we'll bring that all the way back to the Kings zone. Fresh legs on the ice now for the Vs. Kings unable to change on the icing. Almost three minutes gone here now, second period. Face off to the corner, picked up by Jay. Puts it in behind the net. Elliott chips one up on the side, does get outside the blue line. Put back in deep, picked up by Jay. Jay up to Elliott now. Elliott up over center. Elliott trying to get through, this, through a shooting angle, can't quite get the release. Picked off by the Vs. That one's picked off by Probert. Probert takes a hit there as Clemens steps into him, trying to bring the puck over the line. V's able to regroup. Clemens again up over center. He had hauled on him. He's able to pick his pocket, trying to get to McIntyre just stepping off the bench. And that'll be another icing as the pass is just a little bit too far. As uh, the Kings trying to sneak a change in there, the V's bench having none of that. They're all over it. Good call by the bench staff right down below us. Player tried to jump off the ice. He got sent back out on that faceoff. It's picked up by McIntyre. McIntyre right off the draw, in over the line, tried to pass it out front. Puck is cleared. Opus able to get that change in. He's on the ice now. He's at his own blue line. Up ahead, and another icing. As we just give our head a shake up here. He might be going for the record for the most icings and offsides in a game. As we're not quite at the four minute mark here in the second period. 3.52 gone, 4-1 hockey game. And another whistle. This time the V's are gonna get the toss on the draw. McDonald gets the toss, Casey comes in. And they're gonna say, nope, not Casey. They're gonna bring in Halliday. Halliday and Verge now on the draw. Face off to the corner, Opus to Hollett. Little chip pass up to Verge. Verge over to McIntyre. McIntyre trying to bring the puck with him. Can't get by the defender. Now Opong back the other way. Just sidesteps it. Checked. Nice move there to bring the puck in over the line. That puck's picked up by Casey though. And trying to make the pass. But it hits Hollett's stick. Now we get a race the other way as Williams goes back. Hollett picks it up. Trying to get a pass over front. Can't quite connect with McIntyre. McIntyre takes the bump behind the net now. Puck picked up by the V's. Looking to start to break out. Looking for Casey as he hits the red line, but it's on the wrong side of the red line. And yep, you know it, it's another icing. This one will come back into the V zone, 15.33 to go, second period. Right, listen, somebody's saying something from the, from the stands here. Murphy on the draw with Casey. Or sorry, that's McDonald, I thought it was 22, not 23. White holds it at the blue line. White takes the bump as he puts the puck ahead. There's a shot on net. Trying to go through the legs. There was Munden. Can't quite get it on net. Duncan at the blue line. He throws a shot, but Gillis sees that all the way through. And the referee's arms up in behind. And this one's going to go against Dartmouth. Opong is heading to the box. Slashing's going to be the call. And the Kings are going to head to the power play. Five eighteen to go here, second period. Verge gonna go on the draw with Beach now. Two minutes up on the clock, Opong in the penalty box. Kings controlling the draw. Duncan walking the line, having a look. Goes back to Stapleton. Stapleton looking out front, can't quite connect with the pass. Verge picks up on the boards. 
He tries to go up front. His pass doesn't make it through, but he's able to get it back. Goes back up top. There's Duncan walking the line, looking towards the net. There's a shot and misses on that short side. Stapleton picks up along the board, cycles it back up top. Duncan again over here to Verge. Verge with the free angle, rips one, tries to go short side, but misses everything. Puck gets to the boards. And we're going to get head contact. So, so much for the power play as Elliott's going to head to the box here now. Now we'll see if it's two or four. So we'll have some four-on-four four hockey here. And two minutes up on the clock, so Elliott's in the box for two. Face off back in the King zone, four-on-four four for a minute 31. And on the draw, it's in the referee skates. Picked up by Dartmouth along the boards. Emberley trying to go back over front. He's got that new stick. That one's picked off by Orchard. Orchard got one here so far. He can't quite bring the puck with him, and he puts himself offside. Announced the Voyagers penalty first. 119 to go here on four on four. And the Bees will have about a 30 second power play. Well, closer to 20 seconds, do my math right. It is Friday, Al. Puck put inside the zone, Law. Over to Brooks, Brooks off to Emberley. Can't quite pick that pass up with the skateboard now. Him and Blackwood look for it on the boards. Picked that down by McKeegan. McKeegan, a little give and go, and he can't release it, but comes back to the point. There's a shot out the post. That close as a shot from Brooks. Can't beat the iron. As Blackwood tries to find it on the strums, picked up by Law. Law's going to go for a skate now. Law with a shot. That's blocked in front. Picked up by Blackwood. Blackwood, a little chip pass, looking for Probert. Probert trying to get by. The defender, and a good job there. I believe that was by Brooks. As Probert wasn't able to get around. Now Law, trying to bring the puck up ice. Long stretch pass, hits Eberle. Still four on four, Eberle over the blue line. Rips the shot, but that gets beaten right in the bread basket and thought about playing it momentarily. But the referee's whistle goes. 15 seconds left, still on four on four. And the Bees will have a quick Power play. And I was correct on the 30 seconds. Look at that. Don't doubt yourself. There's Cluett from the blue line. Beaton gets a pat on that. Comes to the corner. Cluett looking for, sorry, uh, Goche looking for it. He puts it down low for Clemens. Clemens behind the net looking out front to pass through the blue paint. But can't connect. Now we get a race for it. And it's picked up by Graves. Graves up to Munden. Munden. Over the blue line, looks out front, but nobody home. So power play now for the V's as they get the puck behind their own net. Goche looking up ice here. We've got Clemens up here, but goes to Opong, fresh out of the box, dumps it in deep. Jay and Kluwer to the corner. Kluwer throws one right from the corner out front. Beaton gets a piece of that. Jewer keeps it in, goes down low. Penalized player gets ready to step back on the ice. There's a shot short side, just off the bench, and he scores. Nobody able to pick up Barrett as they didn't see him come off the bench just as the penalty expires. V's chipping away at the lead now. It's four to two. Twelve forty-six to go, second period. Reminded me of last game here, game one when the Kings had a three goal lead and the V's kept chipping away. So don't go anywhere folks, this game's far from over. Well over half a hockey game to go as the Kings chip the puck in net. Opong and McIntyre give chase. Opong gets there first. The goal scorer moments ago for the V's. Baird chips up the center, but Kings dump it right back in. Now comes up to Tobin. Cross ice pack is picked off. Inside the zone now by Hollett. Hollett gets picked up and behind is Baird again, Baird. And making a good defensive play was open to get back. But there's a shot from the blue line from Williams and misses everything. Maybe a chance for a breakaway up to McIntyre. McIntyre Holland almost 2 0. Oh, McIntyre likes to shoot, but misses everything. Might have got a piece of the post on that blocker side. Either way, the puck comes all the way back the other way. You listen on the goal score here now. Well, Goche with the assist marker as well on Barrett's goal. Here comes McIntyre again. McIntyre pass goes off a stick. 
Comes inside the zone. Verge looking for him and Opong bunk. Hollett trying to help Opong be able to pick up the puck. Goes along the boards to Tobin. Tobin trying to start to break out. Pass a little bit too far behind Mitchell. Hollett and Mitchell go to the boards. Mitchell comes up with it. Mitchell in his own zone. Looks up ice. Sees Tobin. Tobin chips it ahead. Beaton going to play it. Leaves it for White. Maybe a chance to get the V's on a, the change here. White up to Duncan. Has to go off his stick. Brooks back in his own zone. Spins away from a check. Gains the red line. Chips it ahead. Little chip and chase to the corner. McDonald and Blackwood. McDonald gets there first. Halliday puts it back in deep. McDonald picks it up. Trying to go back to Halliday. Can't quite control the pass, but he is able to put it back in the corner. Casey behind the net. Casey trying to go back over front. And Beaton gets a paddle down. Now White in the corner. Trying to spin away from a check. Loses the handle in the corner. Still trying to fight for it. Pucked on the stick now. Trying to go back over front. Gets it to the blue line. Law. Cross ice. Brooks with a shot. Redirected. And Beaton somehow gets a pad on that. But a shifted head as Halliday. Right in front of them, just like that. 10.43 to go here, second period. V strike again, and it's four to three. The puck came right out front. Halliday just kind of turned around and spun and took a shot and went off something and went up, up over the shoulder of Beaton, lands in the back of the cage. Like I said earlier, still half a hockey game left, and we got a one goal hockey game. Puck up off the boards. Picked up by Cluett. He dumped it in deep. As he looks to the heavens, he realized he was on the wrong side of the red. And that's going to be icing, so he'll bring that face off down deep. So Halliday and Brooks with the assist marker. Makes this a 4-3 hockey game. Murphy on the draw with Beach. Cluett picks it up. Starts to break out along the wall. Clemens got to bring the puck all the way back. Got Murphy on him. He's able to put the puck up to Shoop. Shoop's able to get the puck outside the zone. As McMillan's right there to put it back in deep. But Shoop's able to pick that off. And he's trying to bring it back the other way. Shoop along the wall. And offside going to be the call. You can hear the bench yelling from here. Shoop didn't realize it. Face off will come outside the zone to the far dot. Uh, they're going to say going to come all the way back deep. As the, uh, they were yelling at them on the offside. So Go Goche and Murphy on the draw. 10-16 to go second period. Face off to Elliott. Elliott. Backhand pass. A little too soft. Picked off by Everly. Everly in the chance. He rips one. And I'm not sure if the defender got a piece of that or not. But it went high. Now it's picked up by Cluett. Cluett out of the way. This one's picked up by Orchard. Orchard trying to go in alone. Orchard, let's go to the shoot. And Gillis with a huge save. As right out the top of his crease. As Orchard picked it off back the other way. He almost had end-to-end -end action both ways. But Gillis up to the task, makes the save. 9.56 to go, second period. Face off will stay in the V zone. Shots on goal now, 26-21 in favor of the V's. And they had the puck now behind their own net. They rim it around, McKeegan picks it up. He goes long stretch pass, picked up by Emberley. One on one back the other way, Emberley trying to get by Graves. Graves able to get that to the corner. Graves now, he goes to fire the other side, gives it back. A little touch pass from Max. Graves with a burst of speed, goes to Hollett. Hollett over the line. They're looking for an offside call here. Here the moans and groans from the Dartmouth side. Verge looking for it now in the corner. Verge down low to Hollett. Hollett back up top. Opus back down low. Hollett behind the net. Has to look over front trying to hit up with McIntyre. They can't pick that in. We're going to get a penalty to the Kings as McKeegan chips it ahead. Gives chase as Graves. Oh, and there he has Graves touch it. Uh, Gills was heading towards the bench. I believe he's going to go against Verge. And it is tripping's going to be the call. So. The V's coming with two goals. Now going to head to the power play. As Verge is going to hit to the box on the trip call for two. 9.09 to go second period. 
And the V's with a golden opportunity now to tie this hockey game up. Right off the draw. Trying to go over here. Here's Orchard again. Orchard in alone. Goes over. And oh, maybe one pass too many as he tried to go back to Stapleton shorthanded. And Stapleton was on his backhand. Couldn't quite finish the job. And here comes Opong. He hits center. Dumps it in deep. McMillan back to retrieve it. McMillan finds the open ice. And able to send that all the way down the length. Gill is out to play it. 30 seconds gone now here in the power play. Opong gets it to his, the captain, McDonald. McDonald up over the blue line now. McDonald trying to dance his way through. Can't get by the defenders. Duncan trying to clear. Bouncing puck trying to outside the line. Maybe a chance for a two on one short handed. Stapleton with a pass over. That's picked off by Opong. Now Opong looking to anchor the power play. Goes ahead a little bit too far, and McMillan sends that back in deep. A minute left now in the power play. Gillis leaves it for Opong. Both teams making changes. Opong having a look. Alex to go for a skate. Over the blue line, makes a move. But Probert right there finds the puck. Sends it right back down the length of the ice. Gillis out to play it. He rims it around. Sullivan, maybe a chance, gets a goalie. And, a and the goalie's glove was knocked off. And Sullivan got to be careful knocking that puck off as I know he's frustrated. But as he tried to get around the goaltender, his trapper was knocked off. As Sullivan might have had an empty cage. As the whistle goes 40 seconds to go, if the goaltender loses a piece of equipment like that, it is a safety issue. So that's why the referee blew the whistle down. 40 seconds to go in the power play, 7.49 to go second period, shot from the point! I don't know if Gillis saw that or not, but it missed everything, comes all the way back to the King's zone. Opus now, looks up ice, throws one up towards center, bouncing around now, trying to find it, and picked up by Clemens. Just getting back outside with Emerly, Clemens puts the brakes on. Now it's picked up down low by Halliday, Halliday behind the net, looks out front. Sees Williams, Williams steps up, rips the shot, rebound, still loose, and lands on Emily's stick. He steps up for a shot, and that gets beaten high again. Picked up now, Halliday, up top, Law, winds up for the slap shot, and that goes off the glass. As the puck's still bouncing around, penalized player back on the ice, we're back to five on five. Emily with a shot, that's blocked by Sullivan. It looked like it cleared the zone, it does this time. Probert trying to find it, and he does, Probert. Up over the blue line, trying to go back, go front. Can't quite connect with the pass. Sullivan and Verge along the boards. Sullivan puts it back in deep. Gives chase. Him and Williams go to the corner. Williams able to get it over to Law. Law got Munden on him, fresh off the bench. Law goes back the other way to Williams. Williams, pass picked off by Elliott. He gets it to Munden. Munden with the best over front. Looks like it was more of a shot than a pass. They can't quite connect. Elliott leads it for Blackwood. Blackwood, side steps to check. And that gets picked off. Race the other way. Here comes Barrett on the backhand and beaten there with the save as the net gets knocked off as White was sliding back but beaten. Able to make the save, cover up as Barrett was off to the races. 6-16 to go now, second period. V's coming that close to tying the hockey game up. On the draw. Picked up by Dartmouth, then they shoot the shot. Short side, Tobin, and it still bounces around. Another chance, and it goes out the short side, and beating out of his nets, flop around like a fish in the frying pan. Bucks to the point, beating got to get back to his net, it's almost an empty net, and he does, and beating him to make another save. Pass out front, and beating with no paddle. All kinds of crazy pressure. Shots on goal now, 34-21 in favor of Dartmouth. But the Kings lead by one. As Beaton pleading his case to the referee as he was outside of his crease flopping around there. And now we're gonna get an unsportsmanlike call as Blackwood was heading to the bench. He must have said something on his way to the bench because the referee just gave the, uh, the unsportsmanlike. So I think Blackwood's gonna be in the box for 10. And there still stays five on five. The, uh, <laughs> the <laughs> these guys, the Dartmouth players 
<laughs> the fans are calling for too many men losing their mind, a couple of them, but it's gonna be a 10 minute misconduct though. It does stay five on five. Bouncing puck in front, lands on and Virgil sticky to the shoot, that's blocked in front, rebound. Comes to the wall by McIntyre. McIntyre looking for some room to skate. McIntyre at the top of the blue line. Got to be careful. Gets around Barry. McIntyre with it still. Rips the shot. And another one off the post. Graves keeps it in the blue line. Puts it in deep. Verge behind the net. Looking out front. He only can't quite connect with Holland. And Barrett picks it off. And four blue jerseys back the other way. Now here's Halliday. Or Tobin, sorry. Went back for Mitchell. Mitchell trying to get away. Can't get one clear. Puck bounce around on the boards. Mitchell gets it back. Mitchell looking out front, bouncing puck, and Bear can't quite grab it. And then one's picked ahead. Holland, two on one with McIntyre, and Jewer last man back, and a dive in play by Jewer to break up that opportunity. But picked up now and passed back to the point, and that's deflected high. Holland back up top. Graves, cross ice. Duncan winds up for the slap shot. Short side. Oh, and how did that not go in the net? I think Jewer might have got a piece of that. McIntyre got heat with a shot, and that doesn't get through. Along the boards, some tired players out there for the V's. Mitchell picks it up, he's able to clear the line. Get a puck race for it. Grace, Mitchell's able to get there first. Puck's in the corner. Picked up now by Probert. Probert, he still has it. Probert now over the blue line. Probert, three on two. Probert gets taken down. And the referee arm is up. As uh, it's getting intense here in the old burn, cross checking is going to be the call. So the Kings are going to head to the penalty to the power play now. As Law is going to head to the penalty box, 4:16 to go here in the second. Kings with a chance to try to add to their lead. Four sixteen to go, second period. Kings on the power play, Law in the box for two or less. And the Kings control the draw. Jay at the blue line. Back here to Hollett, Hollett looking towards the net. Gonna go past back door, but nobody home. Jay keeps it at the blue line. Looks for somebody open, Jay gonna keep, shoots! And Gillis with the save up high. Puck to the wall, maybe a chance to clear, and kept in by McIntyre. McIntyre back out front to Jay. Jay has a look. Gets it back to Holland. Holland looking out front. Prober, he got the shot. It is off the post. No way Gillis knew where that was. As Beach takes a hit behind the play there. V's looking for a call. King's play continues. Jay with the puck. Moves over to Munden. Munden goes back to Hollett. Hollett looking back down low, but his pass picked up by Opong. That's going to be touched by High Stick. And now it's blowed down as Beach overskated the puck. If he would have touched it, the, uh, the high stick would have been waved off, but he didn't touch it. Kings do, high sticks the call. 107 left in the power play, 322 to left in the second period. Face off will stay outside the zone here in front of the V's bench. Both teams making changes. On the draw, in the feet. Still in the feet, over the blue line now. Finally picked up by Verge, but Jewer is able to pick up at center. Now McDonald down in front of the penalty box area. He slaps one in. Beaton touched it, leaves it for Duncan as they had to race for it from Casey on the four check. Side steps to check, pass up to Verge. Verge going cross ice for Stapleton. Stapleton over the blue line now, puts the brakes on. Looks up top for Duncan. Duncan over here to Verge, a little bit too far for him. Sullivan and Jewer battle in the corner. Some help from Murphy. Sullivan short side. And everybody holds their breath momentarily, but Gillis has it holding his post, makes the save, covers up. 27 seconds to go. Now in the power play. A couple fresh penalty killers out there for the Voyagers now. Halliday and Verge on the draw. Dartmouth gets it, and it gets to the to the blue line, and it does just come outside. King's got to regroup. Maybe one last rush here, under 20 to go. In the power play, McMillan looking up ice for Verge. Verge trying to chip it ahead. Murphy and Jewer gives chase. Comes to the corner. They still battle hard to get some help now from Verge. 
Verge cycles it back down low for Murphy. Had to sidestep the referee. Penalized player gets ready to step back on the ice. We're back to five on five. They keep it at the blue line to the far corner. Shot on net, rebound. They look for it, it bounces around. Can't quite find it. And the Voyagers do. They're off to the races the other way. Over the lines, McDonald. McDonald trying to go out front. Can't quite connect with McKeegan. Puck in the corner. Still trying to find it. Comes loose. Stapleton can, can't clear. Put back a deep along the wall now. Picked up by Verge. Verge looking up towards center. And that's going to be waved off. Had to be close to icing at center, but linesmen say no. Kings get a change. Picked off right. Coming off the bench is Elliott. Elliott looks, takes a shot, and then they save there. Rebound as Provers spins and turns and almost redirected in. Elliott in the corner. Puts it towards the net. Picked up by Williams. Williams pass picked up by Elliott. Elliott looks from behind the net now. And then Williams battle. Puck comes to the corner. Williams trying to clear. Williams does get up to center. Bouncing puck. Casey trying to corral now. Gets the backhand. Chips it in. Graves and Beaton almost got their communication going wrong there. As Orchard tried to clear. Shot from the far point. Rebound loose momentarily. But Beaton able to make the save. Cover up. 106 to go here in the second period. Face off, stay deep in the king zone. On the draw, Casey and Probert come to the corner. Grace puts it to the opposite corner. Goche looking for it. Still looking for it, picked up by Probert in the last minute of play. Probert trying to get by Cluid. Does just get by, can't bring the puck with him. It's chipped ahead, can't quite pick it up. In behind the net now, Williams does. He puts it to the corner for Cluett. Cluett looking for it. Elliott picks that off, puts it back in deep. Williams and Orchard to the corner. They bump. Elliott trying to help. Still trying to pick it up, it's still loose. Put back in deep and Gillis feeling the pressure. Jumps outside his crease, makes the save, cover up. 31.8 left here on the clock in the second period. Both teams making changes. Hollick on lineup with Goche. The draw. Picked up by Opong in the corner. He puts it behind the net. Long stretch pass looking for Emberly at center. And they're going to say that's another icing. Pretty well the way we started this game with a few whistles. We're going to end the second period the same way. 23.2 up on the clock now. Icing face off back in the Voyager zone. Everybody's lined up in the wrong circle. Now they're going to get it straightened away. Goche, Hollett back on the draw. On the draw, picked up by the Voyagers. In behind their own net. Jewer up to Casey. Casey goes over to Goche. Goes off his skate, but gets it back here in the penalty box area. Emily over the blue line, puts the brakes on. Looks so front and beaten. And it rebound. Oh, and hold oh, that close. As Beaton misplayed the puck there. Now Hollett's got to hold it with the. Uh, as you watch, there is Whitey that had uh, the puck in the corner. Has a little bit of uh, more pushing and shoving. Some words being exchanged. Well, that's going to do it for us here after two. Shots on goal 37 for the Voyagers, 28 for the Kings. Kings lead 4 to 3. We're going to take a short break here. This has been a great 40 minutes so far. We'll see what the last 20 is going to bring. See you already about 10 to 12 minutes. Make sure you come back for the third.
and we are back. Third period action, just getting ready to get on their way. And what a game it's been here so far. One goal going into the third period. The Voyagers trying to continue their season. The Kings have already punched their ticket to Provincials as they're hosting, but like to go in on a win. Dees want to play again here tomorrow. Kings trying to get her done here tonight. 20 minutes up on the clock. Left to prove who wants it. Voyagers had themselves quite the second period. As it was four to one here at one point. Well, the puck's been dropped. Third period on the way. Playoff hockey at its finest right here as the puck's in the zone. Kings look for it, comes to the corner. Trying to poke it loose is McDonald. Does come loose along the wall, kept into blue line. Duncan with a shot, redirected to front. Doesn't make it through. Now a chance picked up off the wall is Halliday. Halliday starts the rush, pass over to Casey. A little bit too far, but it gets deflected in, so no icing as McMillan and Casey go to the corner. McMillan look for it, pokes it loose. Bird trying to get up against the wall, pokes up ahead. See if it makes it far enough for icing or not. And icing's waved off. Opong in behind the net, spins away from Hullet, able to get it over to Casey. Casey, long stretch pass here to McDonald. He chips it ahead for Halliday. Halliday trying to give it back to him. Gets it, another, the rebound as they took a shot pretty well on the goal line. And Beaton got a piece of that, rebound's clear to the corner. Halliday again trying to dance his way by Duncan. Halliday, Duncan, and there's Beaton with an old school poke check. Puck still in the corner as the V's coming out strong here. Puck up and ahead, maybe a chance for Sullivan. Sullivan trying to go back out front. But a good play by Opong as it goes off the back of his skate. Now it's picked up by McDonald. McDonald over the blue line. Leads it for Law. Law with a little drop pass. That's picked off by Murphy. Murphy off to the races now. As he's looking on that far side. Takes it to the corner. Trying to go in front. A little touch pass. And Munning got a piece of it. But there's Gillis sticking out that left leg. Able to make the save. Puck to the corner. Munning trying to go in front. Can't quite connect with Sullivan. Emberly picks it up. Chips it ahead here for McKeegan. McKeegan over the blue line. He's trying to bring the puck with him. Still has it. Drop pass back to the blue line. Gets it back along the boards. Chips ahead for Goche behind the net. Trying to go back up front with it. Opus picks that off. Now Sullivan along the boards racing for it. Getting to the puck first was Everly. And they're able to keep the puck in. Opus puts one up. Now he hits Sullivan. Sullivan back from a few games off there. Forgot to mention earlier. The Kings happy to have him back as the Dartmouth team dumps it back in deep. Graves behind his own net. Goes off the boards, looking for uh, Stapleton just fresh off the bench. Pass up towards the middle, can't quite connect. Dartmouth back the other way. Touched up at the blue line, so no icing. Opus behind his own net. Opus on the boards. Stapleton looking up for Elliott. Elliott over the blue line, chips it ahead. Jewer off the boards. Far side, Probert. Back down low for Elliott. Elliott trying to come off the boards with it. Cycles it back down low, looking for Stapleton. He loses the handle. Puck comes to the corner as Probert bounces off Mitchell along the wall. Now Probert trying to sidestep another check. Battle in the corner. Mitchell able to pick that up. And there's a big hit there as Elliott steps into Mitchell along the boards. Jewer behind the net now. Loses the handle. The puck goes off the boards. And be careful there as, uh, as Stapleton and Jewer bump into each other. Now Law is able to hit center, chipping in deep. Bouncing puck right in on Beaton. And at this point in the hockey game, he's going to take no chances, able to cover up, make the save. 3-0-3 gone here in the third period. Lots of threes there. Shots on goal now, 39-29 in favor of the Voyagers, but they're down by one. Face off on the draw. Verge with Beach. Dartmouth controls. Pass out front. Can't quite get through. White now look for it in the corner. White loses in behind the net. Trying to move for a wraparound. Can't quite get the shot off. Keeps, spins it, turns it. Clemens with a save. Rebound picked up by Hollett. He clears it just outside the blue line. Picked up now by Jewer. Jewer chips it back ahead. White's able to chip it back the other way. Inside the line now, over the blue line. Battle for it on the boards. They bang away. Kept in again. Chipped ahead. Verge. Cycles back to the corner. Look, maybe a little give and go. He gets to the hollow. Trying to give it back to him. Nobody can connect on the shot. And that pass is going to come all the way back to the zone. Beaton going to play it. Gives it to Jay. Jay looking long cross pass. And he lands right on Hollett's stick. Hollett looking up. Little sauce pass into Verge. Verge trying to go out the other way. And tic-tac goal. McIntyre puts it home. 
Kings regain their two goal lead with a beauty play. Just almost at the four minute mark here in the third period. McIntyre sitting on the doorstep as Holland to Verge to McIntyre and it's five to three. Puck along the boards, chipped ahead. We're out the draw here, Sullivan maybe. And a good play by Opong, the non-puck off his stick. Back to the blue line though. Along the wall, Murphy tried to go back up top but nobody home as Duncan got to regroup. Kings got to get back on side. Opong in the corner with it. To the blue line. Not out. Sullivan side steps to check. Short side. Rips a shot and it goes off the outside of the post. Kept in at the blue line. McMillan. He throws a shot out front and looking for it right at the crease. And Gillis didn't realize he had it underneath him. He's able to make the save. Based off of stay inside the zone. Taking the, the goal announcement there. 15-33 to go here. Third period. Kings up by two. Murphy in on the draw with Goche. They get that up to Orchard. Orchard trying to get to the shooting angle. Can't quite get the release. And back the other way. Here comes the V's. Emberly up over the blue line. Takes a long shot. Goes off McMillan. Skate goes in behind the net for Duncan. Duncan got law on him. As he's chipping up in the play. They try to free it loose, it does bounce. Picked up now by Orchard, he's off to the races. Orchard gets the blue line, tries a shot, that's blocked up high, and the puck's cleared back to center. Orchard got a retreat, all the way back himself. Orchard spins it, turns, but nobody home. And that goes, not gonna quite go the length of the ice. Brooks gonna pick it up at the bottom of the circle. Hits Emberly. Emberly looking to skate up. Hits a red line, dumps it in deep, beating pads that to McMillan. McMillan tries to go behind the net. Chipped up here, Elliott. Up to Probert. Probert with some speed now. As he's on that far side, trying to bust back in front. Probert! As in the back of the net. Flying through the air, looking like Bobby Orr. Probert pulling the puck to the front of the net. Somehow able to slide it underneath Gillis. And just like that, Kings up back up by three. As goals coming fast and furious here in the third. 14.36 up on the clock now here to go. Kings lead six to three. With that face off at center comes Ollie back into the Kings zone. Beaton plays it for Opus who rims that around to Elliott. Elliott chips it back up to Probert. It worked last time. We'll see if it works again. Probert on that short side looks so front. Can't quite connect. Munden now. Pass out front. Picked out, there's Probert again. There's Gillis getting the blocker down. His puck's still loose. Back to the blue line. Opus put it in the corner. Ed McIntyre trying to get it up front. It goes off his stick. Probert leaves it back for Opus. Opus gave it back to him, but Probert was going for a change. And Gray's going to have to regroup back in his own zone. Up to Munden. Munden trying to get beside Step a check. He's on that short side. He's trying to come up front. Got McIntyre, but that pass a little bit too far for him. He ripped a shot. That goes off the other side of the net. As Verge gets taken down in the corner. McIntyre looks for it along the boards. Back to the blue line. But like Jay can't quite hold the line. Looks like Verge and Halliday are both going to head to the box. We'll see what the calls here are. Looks like two minutes each for interference. We'll see what the uh, call is going to be here now. The referee, there's the uh, wave honking the horn, looking for an uh, explanation. As they get an explanation here, oh, it's going to be an extra one. So four minutes was to Halliday, but it's only got to be two up on the clock because the, the other two for Verge. So Kings on the power play, 13-40 left here in the third. 
Leading here six to three, as Dartmouth's able to get that puck all the way down the length of the ice, beaten out to play it, leaves it for Duncan. And just sidesteps one there. Duncan up to Stapleton and picks it up. Stapleton up over the blue line, drops it back to Hollett. Now McIntyre, he runs a shot there, pops the water bottle. Power play marker as McIntyre with his second in the last few minutes. Kings add to their lead here in the third. And it's seven to three. There's four minutes of head contact. That penalty is now over, so the two still in the box serving the, the coincidentals. As the back at center, the puck is put in deep. Bouncing around inside the blue line there. Up at center, get taken down. There's the referee's arm up as Tobin gets taken down, but maybe Bear with a chance. He rips the shot. So V's going to head to the power play momentarily as a bouncy puck from the blue line lands in on Beaton as it still bats around loose. But he does cover up. So 12 46 left here, third period. V's are going to need everything they can here now to try to get back in this hockey game. As Blackwood's going to head to the box now. Two minutes up on the clock. And the goals have been coming fast and furious, so. And then we've seen this league, and been part of this league for a few years. Anything can happen with that much time up on the clock. And here's Dartmouth with the faceoff. Opong, cross ice to Emberley. He chips one ahead, but Sullivan gets a stick on that, and he's able to clear it up to center. Goche regroups. He spins away from a check. Goche bring the puck up ice. Gets it to McKeegan. Over the blue line now. Gets it back to Goche. Goche looks on that short side. Looking out front, but Bean gets the paddle on that. Rebound thrown towards that. A little bit too high. Goche puts it back in deep. Opus trying to clear. Kept in by Emerly at the blue line. Put back into the corner. McDonald trying to free it. As McDonald and Opus battle for it. It's up on the wall there. They whack away at it. Murphy trying to find his feet, picked up by McKeegan. McKeegan trying to go in front, can't get the pass through. They announce McIntyre's goal. So Hollick gets an assist on McIntyre's second of the evening. Down to 11.55 here to go in the third. Minute 10 in the power play. Shots on goal getting closer now, 42-36 in favor of the V still. On the draw, scramble, comes along the wall, trying to clear it on the bouncing puck, but kept in at the blue line. Now Duncan with a chance, he goes high off the boards, and he spins and turns, third time's the charm for the Kings. They send that down the length of the ice. Gillis, out to play it. Gonna leave that for Law. <coughs> Law, excuse me, Law plays it up to Williams. Williams gonna skate up over center, he chips and chase. Duncan gets there first, goes off the boards, to the blue line, but not out, kept in by Law. The tripping was the call for Blackwood. Williams trying to go up, that's picked off by Orchard. Orchard, a chance to clear, but a good defensive play, or sorry, offensive play by Law to keep that puck in. Now along the wall, Clemens down low, takes it in behind the net. Bottom of the circle, trying to lead off the defender. Still has it now at the top of the, the blue line. Now he's gonna bring it all the way back out to center. So the V's are gonna have to get back on side. Brings it up and they can't quite get over the line and the Kings are able to clear. Only two seconds to go in the power play as the penalized player back on the ice. Beach now with the puck. He does a little dance here to go over the blue line. He's the only person over the, over the line. Can't get by the Kings and here's Probert. Probert trying to pull his way to the front of the net again this time. Gillis keeps the puck and Probert out. 
as the Nets knocked off its moorings. Face-off's going to stay in deep. 10.31 to go, third period. Back to five on five. You're going to bring that face-off outside as Probert took the net off. Good reminder again, everybody check out high button between the uh, YouTube channel, the website, all the playoff game, provincial games. The female hockey between U11 all the way up to U18. A, double A, all that stuff that's happening. And with some insider information from uh, our fans up here in the stands, special shout out to Bridget Blackwood. Let me know that uh, Wallace has now been put into the game. I should have recognized his pads as Gillis's night is over. Pucks back in deep. Stapleton all the way up at the blue line. Now Stapleton with the room. He blows the tire. Picked off by Tobin. Tobin up over the blue line. Trying to get by White. White stands him up as the puck comes to the corner. And behind the net now. Jay looking for it. Beach is able to pick that off. Stapleton returns to favor. Trying to dance his way out towards center. He does chip it up at his own blue line now. Far side here for Shoop. Shoop looks up. Not going to make it for icing as it goes right on top of Beaton. Bean gives it to White. White looking up ice. Up for Munden. And Munden had to kick that down. It comes to Verge. As Verge is finally out of the penalty box. And glove pass. We had to look around at all the referees to see if anybody's hand was up. But glove pass is the, the cause. It was touched by the hand. 9.21 to go now here in the third. Face off will come outside. Verge and Mitchell. Going to line up on the draw. Comes back to McMillan. McMillan looking up for McIntyre. You know what McIntyre's looking for? He's got two tonight. They poke away for it here as Bear tries to get by McMillan. He's has it inside the zone. Just looking for it now as Mitchell's in his skates. As Duncan picks that up, goes cross ice. A little bit too far for Verge. Not going to make it far enough for icing. Opong gets back there. Verge on top of him. He takes him down. You watch Opong, make sure he gets up okay. He does. Shot from the blue line, saved there as Wallace gets his first real action. Back the other way is Clements. Three blue jerseys. Clements elects to keep. Looks back to the blue line, but Mitchell had to turn back, can't quite corral it. Pass comes here to Opong. Opong up over the blue line, trying to get by McMillan. Leaves it for Mitchell. Mitchell right at the faceoff dive, trying to get a backhand, can't get the shot off. Now here comes McIntyre. McIntyre waiting for some help. McIntyre on the short side, looking to go for a backhand pass to Holland. Holland stops, waits, and it's 8 to 3. As the floodgates has opened up here in the third, as it was all Voyagers in the second, as all Kings in the third. 8.22 up on the clock here now. We bring that back to center ice. Draw controlled by the Kings. Graves chips it ahead. Lands on a Dartmouth stick. They go back the other way. Sullivan picks that up. Sullivan over the blue line now. Sullivan leads it for Blackwood. Takes a long wrister. That misses wide. Graves got to keep it at the blue line. <laughs> Doche picks that off. Starts to rush. Gets it to McKeegan. McKeegan with a long wrister. And Beaton gets that in the old bread basket. Covers up. Makes a save. I'll get a whistle. <laughs> Listen for the goal announcement here. It is Hollett. From McIntyre. As McIntyre with the unselfish move. Makes the pass out front. Hollett outweighed Wallace long enough. That backhand pass is chipped ahead. We'll see if it makes it far enough for icing. And the linesman says it does. Icing the call. We'll bring the face off back to the king zone. 7.49 to go now here in the third. Shots on goal almost even. 44-41. Still in favor of the Voyagers. Thank you everybody again for tuning in. It's been a, a great hockey game here so far. Even though the score is turning a little lopsided on one side. Still lots of hockey left to be played. As Provincials is going to be here next week again. And we'll be back here as well to bring you all the action. That puck squirts loose, picked up by Sullivan. Sullivan 
gonna bring that puck himself up over the blue line. Sullivan, he's back up top. Murphy, he stops and shoots, and he misses everything on the short side. Sullivan now trying to cycle it back down low. Takes a funny bounce off the boards. He looks for it, and Sullivan's gonna head to the box as he put his stuck his leg out, and see if it's tripping or kneeing. He kind of did the old corkscrew almost as he stuck that leg out. And it's going to be tripping. Didn't think he got him knee on knee. He kind of put his leg out. So Voyager is going to head to the power play. 7.24 left here in the third. Face off controlled by the Voy Voyager. Sorry. Opong over here to Goche. Goche trying to go back the other way. Still has it. Keeps shoots. Trying to go short side. But Beaton's there. Makes the save. Covers up. Looking at the face off down in deep. On the draw, McDonald and Probert. Goche now trying to come off the half fall with it. Gets it down low to McDonald. McDonald spins and turns behind the net, trying to go back again. Still with it, trying to go to the high slide. There's McKeegan trying to get the shot off. And he got his stick on it, but didn't quite get all of it as the body was on top of him. The miss on the short side. And as Beaton tried to cover it up, the neck comes off its moorings. We'll get another face off deep in the king zone. 23 seconds tick off the clock. On the power play, 7.01 remaining here in the third. And the linesmen don't like how they were lined up. So Dartmouth's going to get the toss on that one there. McDonald's going to come in on the draw now. Sorry. And Dartmouth with the draw. And the Kings able to clear. Back the other way. In their own zone. The Voyagers. Here comes Opong. Up over the draw. In the blue line. Picked off by Jay. He finds some open ice and able to send that down the length of the ice. Here comes Opong again, like he seems to do on the power play with the anchor. Gives it to Goche, dumps it in deep. Battle for in the corner, trying to chip it ahead. Maybe a shorthanded opportunity here for the Kings. As Stapleton can't get by Emberley, and then Munden loses that center. Picked up now by McDonald. His shot doesn't get through. Got to come right to the blue line, kept in by Emberley. Put back in deep. Behind that, McKeegan comes out front. It's a quick one-timer. I'm not sure if Beaton got a piece of that. I'm going to say he did. Either way, he didn't make it through. And the Kings able to send the length of the ice. Wallace out to play. It leads it for Emberley. Emberley gets turned back as Stapleton was up on the four check here, shorthanded. Now he gets a pass up here to Williams. They chip it in deep. Blackwood. Look for in the corner. The penalized players back on the ice. We're back to five on five. Stapling along the board. A little touch pass to Monday. Nothing to make it through. Blackwood and McDonald to the boards. They bump. Blackwood looking for it now. Blackwood off the boards. Stapling trying to go back to him. Can't quite connect. And Williams, lone player back in his own zone. He's able to get the O-Pong. It chips it ahead. Gets it to Casey. Casey in the long wrister. Goes off the skate to the corner. White looking for it now. He rims it around. Opon keeps it at the blue line. Long shot. That's deflected. Goes up over the net. Tobin trying to find it along the wall. He's able to get it down to Barrett. Barrett trying to go back over front. Spinning and turning is Tobin. Can't quite get the shot through. That was picked off by McIntyre. He loses the handle though. Barrett is able to retrieve it. Barrett right from the bottom of the circle. Can't quite get the handle. Now Casey. Get the Williams who stepped up. And there's beaten down. Puck's loose. And the rebound's cleared. And now he gets to pushing and shoving it. Tobin. And Beaton are hacking and whacking each other. Beaton was going to get the first one as he gave Tobin a shot. So there's a head contact call. And I think Tobin's going to get one maybe now for slashing. 
We'll see what's gonna go on here as White's gonna serve the penalty, it looks like, for Beaton. No, they say it's gonna be Blackwood. They're gonna say spearing, ooh. So I think four head contact to the Kings, to the goaltender. We're gonna get a call, maybe a little, oh no, the referee just come to pick the, the puck up. I thought he might come to explain the call, but we'll see here. Nothing up on the board as of yet. Faceoff is going to say inside the zone, and it is going to say five on five. So I don't know if it's four each from the spear and the head contact, or two each. Either way, it doesn't matter. Coincidentals it is. Faceoff stays in the zone. Dartmouth has it. Puck comes towards the blue line. Bouncing on the side. There's a couple shots at it. And on the short side, it does stay out. Graves picks up. Graves trying to feed McIntyre. McIntyre trying to get free. Trying to get by Cluett. McIntyre for the trick. And it's in the back of the net. What a move, the silky mitts of McIntyre, able to get away from the defender and undresses the goaltender, puts it home. Nine to three, 409 to go here now in the third. As I don't see any hats on the ice says them now. We'll wait for Wade on the official call. As McIntyre was able to spring loose. Jay dumps that in deep. So we'll see how the rest of this game plays out. Law in the corner. They're announcing the goaltending goal calls now. But the Ellie Ellie spins and shoots, and that's deflected up into the netting and out of play. So it's beaten for head contact, being served by Blackwood. Murphy on the draw with Goche. Comes to the wall. They poke away at it. Comes to Murphy. Murphy, he steps and shoots. And that deflected to the corner. Emberly and Jay looking for it. Jay able to get there, puts it in deep. They give chase to the far corner as Law and Elliott bump. It's in the feet now, trying to free it. Looking for it, still trying to free it. Law does, gets over here to Emily. They gave him head contact as, the, as a, Jay went for the hit. As Emberly got up, didn't, didn't like that. The puck comes out front, McKeegan, but beaten, able to pick on that, make the save, cover up. 3.22 to go now here in the third. Shots on goal 51 43 in favor of the Voyagers. Again, all weekend. I know it's March Madness, but March Madness here with High Button as well, as all of the games we're covering. Playoff action, provincial action, everything going on. Check the website, check the YouTube channels. As that puck scores loose off the wall, comes right over front, that's picked up by Orchard. He flicks one ahead, but gloved down by Law at the blue line. He tries to go out the other way. Orchard gets a sick of that, and goes the other way. It was four minutes for Spearing, as Wade corrects himself on Tobin's penalty call. We'll get to the goal call here momentarily next, as Law's in his own zone now, turning over here to Clemens, because it goes just off his stick. McMillan shifts it back out to center. Mitchell gives it back to Opong. As uh, Wade's earning his money in the timekeeper's booth tonight with the penalties and the goals up on the boards. McMillan rims it around. Munden looking for it. Oh, the referee lost his skate there. The net's knocked off in behind. They try to fix it, but it comes back to McMillan. He rips the shot, deflected in front, and just misses wide. That one just before that is Munden. Had a shot and ended up in behind Wallace, but stayed out. And there's clearing the scrum was Clemens as Munden gets up and didn't like that. We'll see what the calls are going to be here now. As we're down to 221 in the third. As Clemens is making his way to the box. I think Munden might be going as well. No, Munden's heading to the bench, so let's see. Two minutes for interference, and looks like a misconduct as well, so 
Clemens' day is done as he heads to the dress room. Two minutes is up on the clock. The Kings with the power play opportunity now to make it a double digits. And Mitchell's gonna serve the penalty for Clemens. Burge and McDonald on the draw. Kings control. Trying to go cross ice pass. It goes off a stick. Picked off by Opong. Opong gonna take that for a skate. As we listen to the penalty call. Oh, deflected in front by McDonald. Got a stick on that. Nice try there. Short handed here. The V's not giving up. Just like they did last game. Show them some. Uh, Good hockey prowess there for the, the V's as Duncan makes a move right in front of his own goalie. Got to be careful there. Now Stapleton brings the puck over half. Gains the blue line. Tries to go out front with it. Goes off a stick. Virgin behind the net now. Virg cycles it back down low. Stapleton trying to sidestep a check. It's picked up by the Voyagers and they're able to send that back to the Kings territory. Duncan, lone man back. Looks up ice, sees Graves. Graves takes a bump from McDonald as he brings the puck over the blue line. Now it's picked up by McDonald. He's trying to get back shorthanded. Has Sullivan all over him. Trying to get by Jay. Gets the shot off and gets taken down. And we're going to get, I believe, oh, we're going to be a cross checking. I believe that's going to be Sullivan. So power play over for the Kings. We'll have four on four hockey here for 54 seconds. And then that'll give 10 or 20 seconds on the clock for a power play to end this game. As Sullivan's in the box in the cross check. In the feet and then poked ahead and just up over the line. Now Jewer, last person back in the zone zone. Had Orchard on him, he's able to clear the zone. White right there to put it back in. Kings get back on side. Last minute of the play here in the third period. Jewer behind his own net. Starts to play. It's turned back as Cluett got to regroup. It's four on four here. Jewer's going to pick it up on that far side. Going to go for a skate. Chips it ahead. As Jay and Jewer are going to go to the corner. Try to go over front with it. Picked up by Orchard. Orchard has a look. Let's go cross ice to White. 30 seconds to go. White tries to go high off the glass. But that goes into the netting. There's one for the fans. As he knocks that one out of play, 29.2 up on the clock. Nine seconds to go on four on four, and then the V's will be on the power play. On the draw, comes to the half wall, put back to the corner. White looking for it. He rims around far side. Munden retrieves it along the wall. Steps up, sends that down the length of the ice. as they didn't realize that uh, the penalty was up on the clock. Oh, no, they're gonna... I see, yeah, uh, sorry. A little bit of mass confusion here. The, the player that come from the box is going to the bench. The referee wasn't gonna let him change. But also on the... Um, which I didn't think it was icing as the penalty was over. But either way, play continues, only 10 seconds to go. I think anybody's too worried about anything too much there. As it goes along the wall. Picked up by Munden, he's still going for a little skate. Just chips it ahead, gives chase. As the clock pins down, we'll make sure nothing comes from a little more pushing and shoving as Munden's down there. As the horn goes, well, that's going to do it for us here. Final score, 9-3. to three. Final shots on goal, 51-45. to 45. The Kings win their way into Provincials. They take the series 2 to nothing. But we'll be back next Friday to bring you the start of the Provincials. Still waiting for the rest of the teams to punch their ticket. And that's going to do it for us here. Special thanks out again here to our cameraman, Mike McLaughlin. Mike Elliott here on the call. High Button Sports. 
as both teams take the center ice. Thanks everybody again for watching. We'll see you next game.